Hey, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel go up and so I can make more content. Okay, so since we have um, products in our admin section here, oh, excuse me here. I have a few errors because I'm logged in as um, a non-usable uh, user from a different project. So let me log in properly. Email at email.com. Oops. Password. Oh, wrong password. Yes, yes. Password there. Okay, great. So since we have uh, products here, a list of products, we can now show them on the other side. Now, the only problem is we don't have square images. As you can see here, this image isn't square at all. So if I bring it here, it's not going to look all that good. So we must create a file cropper before we even come to this section here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so how do we do this? Well, let's head over to our functions here and let's go to functions.php and right here we can create a function that will crop our image so we'll call this one crop yes as simple as that here we go now in order for cropping to work you must have gd library enabled in your system in your php system now this is enabled by default usually but sometimes uh, there will be uh, times when you didn't enable it depending on how you installed your xamp so what you can do is go to the config of apache right config and then php ini so if you don't have this same interface just go to where you installed uh, PHP inside the PHP folder. There's going to be a file called php.ini That's the file we're looking for. Yes And in this file uh, It's always better to open this file using sublime text or your own text editor rather than this notepad Which is difficult to handle However, what I'm looking for is a part with extensions. So I'm going to go and say extension like this and let's find that so there should be many extensions in the same location so that's why i keep clicking forward 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 it should have extension is equal to so this is where the extensions are supposed to be found by default so let's leave that be we are very close to what i'm looking for or are we Click next, next, next. I didn't know it was this hard to find the extensions list. Okay, there must be an easier way of doing this, right? Ah, there we go. Okay, so extension is equal to, and then we have all these extensions that are active. Now, the ones that have a semicolon at the beginning are commented out, so they're not working. So this one is on, this one is on, this one is not, etc., etc. Now there's this one extension is equal to GD. You must make sure that there isn't a semicolon at the beginning. If it's like that, then we are good to go. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else. Okay, that's about it. And also in uploading, sometimes you may need to supply the max upload size. So let's search for max upload and let's go. We can find it down let's go up we can find it so then it should be upload max upload underscore max that should be it so there we go upload max file size so it's 140 megabytes this number sometimes sometime back used to be very small by default because uh, internet was quite young then but now we can upload as much as 140 megabytes because videos yes file uploads should be on the maximum size of upload there we go that's good enough max files to upload at a single request 20. okay 
So it seems uh, things are good to go. So let's cancel that, close that, minimize this, and we are ready to go. Now, if uh, let's see here, we have to provide a few things in order for us to crop this thing. So um, there's a lot of birds on my roof making quite an amount of noise. Okay, so we need to supply the file right the file name of what we are cropping and then we need to give it a crop uh, size right so the size here uh, i can put a default size of let's say 600 pixels so it's up to you you can change the size as you are telling the function to crop to what size you want to crop okay great so we have what we need our file and the size. So since there's an echo and then there's that, this makes uh, this it makes the this item optional. Okay, so which means we just need to supply the file name and we should be good. Now, since we are supplying the file name, we also need to supply the output because we don't want to crop the semi image and then um, what's the I think we can return the final um, where to save the cropped version of the image, right? Hmm. Okay. All right. So there are two ways we can do this. We can either supply the name here or we can get a return from this function, which will represent the file where the file was saved. Let's, let's go with that so that we have a little to add here. Okay, so what I need now is an image resource. Now, the function that crops an image is just a single function, and this function is image copy. Uh, so there's plenty of image copies here. You can use php.net to check them all out and see which ones you might be interested in using. And let's go to this one, image copy resampled. This is the one that crops or resizes images. So if you want to resize an image, you want to crop an image, this is the beast right here. So let's select that one. Mm -hmm. So image copy resampled. Now, what determines whether you are cropping or you are, um, you are resizing is the, how you, is the parameters you add here. So as you can see, there's quite an amount of stuff to add here. So we should give it all this information. The first thing is the destination image. So let's change that into a variable. There's uh, the destination, the source image, which is this one. Now it doesn't take a file name. It takes a, an image resource. So we have to create an image resource, another image resource here. So these are not file names, they're image resources. We have to create them. And then there's a destination X, destination Y, source x source y so what i like to do is just convert all these guys into actual variables that way we can uh, we can use them better so what i'm doing is i selected the comma and then press ctrl d if you're using notepad plus plus it's ctrl shift d and to select all the uh, all the next commas like this then I can move my arrow, my right arrow, like so, and then put a, uh, yeah, that way they become variables like this. So I need to provide all these variables here or I get an error. And so once I do the image copy resampled, all I need to do is uh, get the destination image and actually save it. And to save the destination image, you say image JPEG and then destination image yeah let's do that that's the destination image and then if you do this it will be sent to the buffer but we want to actually offer a file right so uh, new file we'll call it new file or we'll call it cropped file there we go cropped file and then for us to know what the cropped file is, 
we need to return it. So let's return the cropped file like so. And then we need to destroy the destination image once we are done with this. In fact, we need to destroy the source image and the destination image as well to save memory because if we don't, um, we may run out of RAM. So image destroy. Let's put that one image. I will duplicate this. So I'm destroying one image here and then destroying the other on the next line. Now I know I need to destroy two images because there are two image resources here, right? So it's always a good idea to clean up after yourself. And then let's return the cropped file. So we need to create all these variables in order for this to actually work. Now let's create the cropped file right here. Now what I want to do is get the file name and remove its file extension, right? I may need to use that. So I'm just going to say extension is equal to, and then I'm going to say um, path info. I will use the path info function. This one, I'll provide the file name, but then I want to tell it because path info returns an array, but I don't want an array. It returns an array of so many things, the, the folder, the best name of the file, etc., etc. But what I want is just the file extension. So I'll just tell it to give me the file extension by putting that flag over there. So like this, this will return just the file extension. So once we are done with that, now I want the file extension to be, um, to be lower case, just so for easy comparisons. So I'm just going to say string to lower path info extension. Great. So I know this one is lowercase because sometimes if, we, for example, the image came from a, a camera, it may have a capitalized file extension. Okay, so now I have my file extension. So what I need now is to get the cropped version. So I just want to add the word cropped to the original file name and then just add cropped and then that will be our new file name, right? So I'm just going to say cropped file is equal to right so we'll get everything uh, so i just want to do a string replace so i'll do string underscore replace mm -hmm. so what am i searching for i'm searching for the file extension so ext like this mm -hmm. but i need a dot at the beginning because i want to make sure that i'm not just getting some text from in, in the middle of the of the file name because you can have a file name like this. Let's uh, file jpg blah 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 dot jpg, right? Something like this. So you see that JPEG is also here as well, right? But just part of the file name. So I want to make sure that I'm looking for a dot and then this guy right there, right? Aha. Uh -huh. Mm hmm. Or you could use a um, pregmatch, which we'll use instead, we'll use, uh, what's this, a regular expression to make sure that you are cropping from the end only and not anywhere else, because sometimes you never know. The thing could be like this, mm -hmm. a file.this.jpg, you never know, file names are quite weird. But for our purposes, I think this will do, or, Let's do a preg re, uh, replace instead. Preg much will work like this. And then what you are replacing it with is this. We are replacing with, with an underscore. And then we say cropped. And then uh, we add the file extension at the end. Let's put a dot. And then let's concatenate the extension. So take note of the way the dots are. There's a dot here and the dot there for part of the file name. And then what's the subject? The subject is the file name. So we are creating a cropped version of this file name like this. Now this is one way to do it, but we can do it using preg replace. So instead of this, I'll say preg replace. Regular expressions are usually better because you can do some nifty stuff. So what am I replacing with? Exactly this. So I'll copy that and put it there. And of course the subject is still the same. 
So let me paste that down. Oops, I did a copy instead of a paste. So copy and paste over there. Let's do that. Mm -hmm. So now I've completely replaced that guy. So if you find problems with this, you can always use that. No biggie. So here I want to tell it to... Uh, oh, great. Now the fire extension. Yes. So copy that. I want to paste that there. So I want to tell it that extension is what I'm looking for. Um, but with a dot. So I'm going to, because the dot means something special. So I'm going to escape it like this. So dot x, but I want this to be at the end of the whole thing. So I'll put a dollar sign like so. Okay. So all I want to do now is just to see what the cropped file is. And so at this point, I'll put a return. That way, none of this below will ever run. So all I want to do is echo out the cropped file name. Done. Yes. So let's try a crop here. And let me go to my, um, ba -ba 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 -ba. let's go to the um, products view. No, 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 the admin. Yes, products view right here. So this is where we have our image, right? Now, instead of this, uh, there's an image source there, but I want to copy this and right above it, like so. Let me put this like this. That way we can see clearly what's going on. Alrighty then. So I have put this product image name here. So let's see that in action back products. And you can see that's the file name. Now I want a cropped version of this. So what I'll do is I'll say crop and then cover this inside that like so. That way it's going to return the cropped version. So as you can see, it has worked. It has shown me the same file name, although it has added cropped at the end and moved the file extension. So things are working. So this one should be the cropped version of the original file. Very good. Now that this is working here, what we need is uh, to view the results of what we are doing, right? To be able to view those. So I'm going to get this and uh, put cropped over there. Oh, wait a second. We can actually view the cropped version right here. If we go to public and then we go to uploads, there's this file in the uploads folder, right? We should see another version of it right there once the cropped one is created. Mm -hmm. Very cool. All right, so the video is running too long and so far so good. Let's come back in the next video and finish this function.